Be ready guys. 5 seconds. Start. Next I would like to take the issue of fixation of support price for the agricultural products by the government. Several honorable members have raised it inside as well as outside the house and it has been a topic of frequent discussion. Different support prices for wheat and oil seeds etc have been suggested by the parties and the individuals but they have not taken those practical aspects into consideration on the basis of which such prices are determined. That is why the nomenclature of the Agricultural Prices Commission has now been changed to Agricultural Costs and Prices Commission under the instructions of the Honorable Prime Minister and it determines the support price after taking into account the agricultural produce and the cost of such production. For the last three or four years under the instructions of the Honorable Prime Minister support prices are announced far in advance of the sowing of the crops so that the farmers are able to choose their crops taking in view the support prices fixed by the government. Another very important measure which has been taken by our Honorable Prime Minister is that three out of the six members of the Agricultural Costs and Prices Commission are the representatives of farmers so that the views of the farmers are taken into account and the recommendations are made on that basis. The Agricultural Costs and Prices Commission determines the cost of various food grains after taking into consideration the cost of agricultural inputs, the fluctuation in prices of the agricultural inputs, the extent of parity between the production cost and prices of other essentials required for personal use, the market rates, the supply the and demand position, the parity in the rates of one kind of crop with another, the effect with which the new prices would have on the cost of the industrial products, on the rates in the general market, on the cost of living in general and on the prices in the international market. Apart from all this, the parity between the support price and the price which the farmer pays for buying things of his daily needs is also taken into account. After considering all these aspects, the Commission sends its proposals to the central government. The central government declares the support price after consulting the state governments in this matter and after looking into the fact that the farmers are able to get reasonable margin of profit after incurring all the necessary expenditure. Efforts are made to declare such prices which may provide reasonable margin of profit to the farmers. Thus, this commission looks into all these aspects. In this connection, one thing is repeatedly said that the production costs of the farmers are increasing rapidly but the support price which is determined by the government is not increasing equally. Hence, the question arises as to what is meant by production expenses. The Commission takes into account all sorts of expenses incurred by the farmers, for example, the expenses of maintaining hired labor, the cost of buying cattle, etc. The cost of purchasing or hiring pump sets, tractors, machines such as crushers, etc. and the labor charges incurred on operating them is also taken into consideration by the Commission. Further, the cost of the seeds whether grown in his own fields or bought from outside, cost of pesticides and natural or chemical fertilizers whether prepared by himself or bought from the market and agricultural implements are also taken into account. In addition, the cost of providing irrigation facilities, the expenses involved in the payment of land revenue repayment of loans, Payment of interest on working capital and on capital assets excluding land are also taken into consideration. Sir, the incidental value of land is also determined and taken into account. The cost of labor is also included in such valuation. Thus, there is not a single expense incurred by the farmers for raising various crops which is not taken into account while determining the support price. Therefore, I think that this charge is baseless or is leveled out of ignorance that farmers are not being paid remunerative prices. 
in fact all these things are considered before determining the support price sir i would like to make one more point it has been demanded many times that all the agricultural products should be purchased at support price rice and wheat are purchased by fci or other bodies but the purchase of other items is made by nafed on behalf of the central government apart from this as the honorable member from kerala was saying just now that the prices of coconut produced in his state or in karnataka prices of potatoes produced in uttar pradesh or prices of onions produced in maharashtra are falling is a fact it is under consideration of the government to fix the support price for coconut sir continuous efforts are being made to acquaint the farmers with new farming techniques extensive publicity is being given to the lab to lab program recently from 25th march to 10th april a national agriculture fair was held at new delhi 